morning everybody, happy Saturday, and welcome back to another installment in the Disney Wisdom Collection. Guys, I'm pumped, but totally jet lagged. We got in last night from Japan, and oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm ready to go back to sleep. I woke up early to get here on time, and by that I mean I literally woke up and snoozed for an hour, and we didn't get here on time. But there was not a lot of people in line for today's collection, which is good. I apologize for the noise. I'm finally shooting this three minutes before the store opens because we literally got here and did Pokemon. We did four raids all in a row. It's been, it's been a crazy morning already. We got our tickets, so we are for sure getting all four of the Disney Wisdom Collection items. I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's go open the Disney store. Five, four, three. We got our tickets. The energy level it needs to pick it up. How freaking cute is that? And his tag is flat. I don't know what else to say, you guys. My mind is still on Japan time, which means it's midnight over there. I'm excited to be home, and we're here doing this. We got all the goods. Let's go pay for them and probably head home. So we got our bag of stuff. It's a little bit more full than usual. We've got some stuff for Vlogmas, so get excited for that. But we are gonna go do one more Pokemon raid here quick and then head home. But you guys will catch up with us during the review. <laughs> All right, so I guess I didn't realize I was recording. Guys, it is still spoopy season. Guys, it is freezing outside in Minnesota. This is my first video I'm shooting since I've gotten back from Japan, hence the shirt. But oh my gosh, we flew in last night and we got up this morning, did the Disney Wisdom Collection, and now we are here filming the review. What a whirlwind of a day it is. I did take a nap and I had some coffee, but this is hot cocoa, so now I'm just kind of balancing it out. But there might be a little bit more energy than what we're usually at. I don't know what's happening today, you guys. Today is going to be a great day because we have the October Disney Wisdom Collection to show you guys. It is still spoopy season here on the channel. I got my Boo To You mug, which I got, I believe, last year at the Halloween party, and I absolutely love my Boo To You mug. I do have to say, though, guys, the Halloween parades and everything in Tokyo pretty much raise the bar when it comes to Halloween. And we'll be making tons of videos about that. You'll see it in the vlogs. So stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot of Tokyo Disney vlogs coming out here soon. We were down there for two and a half weeks over the Halloween celebration and it's, guys, there's just gonna be no words, no words to express how amazing it was. But we will be talking about that later on in the week. Just, I can't wait to share it with you. But first, since we did come in super jet lagged as you probably saw on the previous clips, now it is time to finally start talking about the Disney Wisdom Collection for October. I feel like at this point of the Disney Wisdom Collection, talking about them and showing you guys the collection is definitely a little pro quo, a little bit, status quo, I don't know how we wanna say it. I think it's pretty boring at this point because you guys all know, we got the mug, we got the pin set, we got the journal, and we've got Genie as well as the plush. Now, I think today's challenge is going to be how fast I can review the Disney Wisdom Collection because I think that would be quite entertaining. I have everything here to the right and we're gonna cut to the next clip. I'm gonna go three, two, one, go, and we're gonna see how fast I can talk about this. This is gonna be no outtakes, nothing whatsoever. This is gonna be a straight shot, and let's see what happens, because honestly, at this point, I think that'd be kind of fun. You guys are gonna see me talk fast and try to get through this as fast as I can, and I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna take it in stride, and I think, I think I'm up for the challenge. 
I honestly have no real strategy for how this is gonna go down, but I'm just gonna go three, two, one, and we're gonna start. So, if you guys are ready, and if I'm ready, like I think I am, three, two, one, go. All right, first guys, we're gonna start off with the plush, super original as always. You know, we got Genie here. We got him with his little earrings. This is actually the first time the tag came absolutely flat and not folded, which I think is pretty cool. The quote of the month is, like so many things, it's not what is on the outside, but is, but is what? Oh my gosh, but what is inside that counts? Woo, okay. No time to complain about that. Genie is a beautiful blue. I absolutely love how this and this and this fabric all feels completely different. They have satin for his cuffs. So obviously this is not Genie at the end of the movie where he is freed, no siree. This is him at the beginning of the movie, but what can we do? He's also not very soft and cuddly. He's definitely very broad, very strong. <clears throat> I don't know how else to describe him. He's not very cushy. He definitely looks like he's built like a very strong man. Then we've got the Disney Wisdom Collection tag here on the back saying series 10 of 12. And yeah, you guys, there's not much to him. He's got his cute little tuft of hair. He's big, brawny, and strong, bold. I don't know what you want to call him, but this is the Genie Plush from the Disney Wisdom Collection. All right, on to item number two. I don't know where I'm going to put Genie. He doesn't stand up. It's so cool because he was supposed to stand up, but he really doesn't unless, you know, <gasps> he's like one of those, th like, woo -hoo, but he doesn't come back. He's not like a weeble wobble. Guys, did you play with weeble wobbles when you were little? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Okay, that's definitely not what he is, but he kind of feels like a punching bag. Okay, we're gonna stop, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna move on to the next item. Honestly, I still don't know where he's gonna lay. So, sorry, Jeannie, you're gonna have to just be fine there on the table. Next, we got the pins. Adorable as always. We got our movie pin. We have our genie pin. What is genie doing? He's like posing like this saying, all the magical cosmic powers. Itty bitty tiny living space. Which Abu is carrying. Super adorable. It's got the lamp, Abu. I love the blue that they used this month. Now, I know a couple of you guys were very confused about what the actual color was for last month. I do promise you that it was a dark navy blue. It was really hard to come off on camera. Some of the purples and blue things that I own do not come across well on camera. I don't understand why, but that's how it is. So again, movie style poster pin. We got Genie, we got Abu. Guys, Abu is probably one of my favorite characters from this movie because he's just so spunky and rambunctious. He's just you know, fun to be around. I think he'd be a fun pal, a Disney, a Disney friend. All right, next we got the journal. Bum, 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 bum. All right, now this, I'll save the two hardest items for last because taking that little piece, taking this little piece of paper off of this can be pretty difficult. All right, so on the front, let's see if I can say it right this time. Like so many things, it's not what is outside, but what is inside that counts. Maybe if I actually sat back and read it. All right, guys, I'm already gonna tell you I'm really disappointed with the binder this month because it is very broken and not attached at all. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. If not, I'll do a quick close up of it so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it is not attached. It looks like it was poorly made, but what can you do sometimes in mass production that happens? Of course, on the binder, it says Disney Wisdom Volume 10 with a little genie doing the same pose as on the pin. On the back, you got the Disney Wisdom stamp. And let's see who's on the inside. Oh, I honestly thought they were gonna put Aladdin on the inside. Nope, it's just the same Abu and Genie per usual. But on the front cover, you guys know I saved that first peek for you guys. Let's see who we got. Solid, there is an Aladdin. So it is Genie, Abu carrying the lamp, then the lamp again, and then last but not least, Aladdin. I don't understand why they put the lamp twice. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know what's happening. But in all seriousness, why would they put the lamp on there twice? That seems just, just too much. Too much of the lamp. There's only one lamp. I guess there's two if you consider Jafar turning into the Genie at the end, but these are definitely not Jafar's lamps. They are both Genie's lamps. Why would you do that, Disney? Why would you put the lamp on there twice? Why not put like Iago or the carpet or something else? I don't know. But yeah, this binder is just wrecked in comparison to other months, which is quite unfortunate. 
I'm also shocked they didn't put Aladdin on the inside page, but beggars can't be choosers. I gotta say, I'm just really glad that we have another piece of the Disney Wisdom Collection done and talked about. Now, on to the hardest item, because this is the one that you guys never get to see me struggle with and watch me knock on wood because it's not gonna be a struggle this time. But getting the mug open is always the most difficult part because I don't keep my nails long to be able to get underneath these little crevices. All right guys, so I'm back. I did say something about my job, which I wasn't supposed to say, so we'll cut that little itty bitty bit out. Just know that it was very, very short, very long, short lived. I was talking about how I keep my nails short because of my job. That's all I'm gonna say, instead of trying to get into details because I don't need to. But that was pretty simple. Whew. It's got my dog's hair on it. <laughs> Cute as per usual. On the inside it has the quote written out here on the design of the paperwork. And let's see who we got on the inside. I think I almost flew that out the window. Again, we got the beautiful quote on the front. We got Jeannie and Abu on the back here in the same poses as they are on the pins. I do gotta say, I wish they would do something different between all the different items. like. Do at least a little bit different of a pose between this and the pins. I don't know, beggars can't be choosers like I always say, but here we are again. A dark, deep blue metallic on the inside. And it says Disney Wisdom on the bottom. Did the other one say that? I'm shocked that I maybe didn't notice that or pointed out. I don't know. It says Disney Wisdom here on the bottom of the mug. It doesn't say 10 out of 12 though, which kind of shocks me because I figured that they would put that stamp on every single one of their items. I don't know. Again, I, I sometimes I don't understand Disney's design choices. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Disney, you're great, I love you, but sometimes your design choices make no sense. They just, they just, just don't. All right guys, so that is showing you, it's speed round. It's like speed dating, you guys. I'm gonna look at my camera really quick, boom. Seven minutes, holy crap, I've been talking for that long? <gasps> I think now that we are done, we are gonna just close this up quick and finish the with the, 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 finish with an outro. Guys, I am on such a sugar coffee something high right now that sometimes I don't think my words really, you know, make sense sometimes, but that's okay. That's what you guys watch because I'm weird and quirky and fun. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of Disney stuff and Again, for those of you who don't know, I just got back from Japan. I just went for two and a half weeks to Tokyo, to Disneyland, to Disney Sea, and we did so much stuff. It wasn't just all Disney. Granted, we did spend a good chunk of the time there, but we did go out into the city. We did some cultural stuff. We did some fun, like nerdy things for my little nerd at heart. And I just can't wait for you guys to see those videos. So those will be coming out starting next week. Get excited. I started going through the footage and it's just, you guys are gonna be in for a treat to say the least, but <laughs> don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video and ring that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and so you don't miss any of the Tokyo vlogs. Guys, you are not gonna wanna miss those. And last, but certainly not least, don't forget to follow me on all of my crazy antics on social media. You can find all those links down in the description below. But with that, we are off and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye! <laughs>